Yeah, I'm just going to do a little video for you on the VW ID7 Dynamic Matrix LEDs and also the ID light only in relation to the navigation really but hopefully you can see it I'm doing it at night hopefully it become more clear when I start driving but the heads-up display as well just so you can get an idea of how it looks and uh, especially in relation to the augmented reality so I'm just driving home leaving Asda you can see there the heads up display now turn left actually I'll turn the navigation now turn right and turn right again immediately turn the navigation announcements off otherwise it's going to be a bit annoying Okay, so you can see uh, the augmented reality show tell, telling me to turn left here and it gets bigger as you get closer to the uh, turn or the junction and the ID light, I think it's the ID light or IQ light, I'm not sure but hopefully you know what I mean. That also helps you to know what you need to do so it pulses from right to left if you're going left same on the other and you also get like a little bar so it highlight just to the one side as you get near a junction or a turn as well it's really clever but on the bottom part if I push left you can see the state of charge you can uh, see how many miles are left that's not looking too great actually I normally get better than that but I have been enjoying the power a little bit the last couple of days uh, if I just press right you've got the normal display apart from the navigation on the right and it comes with navigations on but left bit is for your uh, lane assist etc adaptive cruise control you've got the speedo in the middle and then you've got sat nav on the right if I push right you get your uh, con you know how many uh, miles per kilowatt hour your consumption values so there's the augmented reality if I push view it changes so you only get the speedo if you've got augmented reality on you get that if I press and hold view on the steering wheel the augmented reality goes off so if I press and hold it again it comes back on and if I just do a single press then I get the rest of the uh, heads up display items coming back as well so you can see that nice little element of a map there showing that I've got to take the slip road off and the light pulsed across there you go, it's warning me I need to make a turn as well I have to admit, I thought this light bar was going to be very annoying I'm not sure if you'll see that, but it's pulsing on the left but actually it's incredibly good, especially if you turn the navigation announcements off because it's like a nice little reminder I mean, as if you wouldn't see the heads up display but if you decide you don't like the heads up display then that light gives you an additional little nudge because uh, I quite often used to forget to look at the maps as I was driving with the sound off and then you miss a turn so it does help especially if you've got kids sleeping in the car so there we go the lights pulsing right to left to tell me I've got to take this left turn got the arrow pops up But I'm also going to show you the uh, dynamic uh, matrix LED lights with the, uh, well hopefully we see some cars because that's what makes it better when we see cars. But it's really good. So when you're in a lit area, like a street lit area, something like that, it won't, it won't activate. So you push the stall forward and you get the little high beam symbol with the A on it for automatic but it won't come on it comes on when you get when it gets dark enough for it so we're coming up to a part now where that will happen hopefully 
hopefully the lights aren't causing too much glare on there. This guy's got his full beam on. Mine should come on any second. So we wait for this now. There we go, look at that come on. It's just, I love the fantastic animation when it comes on. But if we see a car in a minute, when you come up behind them, it like blanks out where they are, or it detects it, like see? And it follows it around. You can see the little dark square following that car so it doesn't blind them. As soon as you go past it, on. Now there is, like a second delay sometimes I've seen two seconds but it's generally pretty good and wow the, like this is the first car I've ever had with matrix LED lights and I'd have to say very impressed look see it's done it again you can see it blanking out but it's lighting up the sides but yeah I'm very impressed with this and you can see the cars up ahead that's doing the same for that the thing I like the most is uh, how it illuminates the street signs when you come up it's just incredible doesn't matter if you're in the left lane of a motorway say and there's a road sign on the left even if you're behind cars it just lights up that road sign goes really high and it is incredible like normally you're struggling to see the signs if they're clean etc but these lights really make a difference and you can see the matrix led lights doing the thing now and as we come up to this lit area, it will, uh, it will, they will just turn off. So they're still on, still on, still on. There you go, gone off because it's detected the street lights. It's just really incredible. Like the Enyaq I had before, I didn't have the Matrix LEDs, but I did manage to activate the automatic light assist, and uh, well, it was awful. It took like three, four seconds sometimes up to six or at seven so I ended up turning it off I just didn't use it but this is just like I can't fault it and you can see the navigation there so I'm gonna stop now I think I've shown you enough hopefully that helps and hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks